Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. I hope you guys are all doing well today. Let's go ahead and talk about Bitcoin. What is exactly happening right now with Bitcoin and of course the entire cryptocurrency market. So you guys can clearly see, okay, as I predicted in yesterday's video, my most previous video. Now, if you guys haven't seen that video, you should definitely check it out. But I told you guys in that video, okay, when Bitcoin was sitting at $48,000, okay, it looked like Bitcoin was going to, you know, reach $50,000. And I told you guys in that video, okay, as I predicted that Bitcoin would reach $50,000. I told you guys that Bitcoin was potentially going to reach 50K for its next price target. And guess what? Okay, guess what? The next couple of hours, okay, we did in fact see Bitcoin, okay, reach up to 50K, okay? So that's amazing, right? That is absolutely amazing. A new high for pretty much 2024, right? It's been a while since we have seen Bitcoin at 50K, but you guys can clearly see right now, Bitcoin is in fact dropping. So we are in fact in the one hour time frame. You guys can just clearly see for the past few hours, Bitcoin is currently having a drop right now. Okay, so right now, Bitcoin is currently just below $49,000. Okay, so right now it's currently at 48800 just below uh, 49k so you guys can just clearly see okay bitcoin is in fact having a slight drop right now okay in the market today okay the crypto market today is not really moving but it is down right for the past you know 24 hours okay we're not seeing a major crash down to the downside right but yes bitcoin is now back down okay forty eight thousand dollars just below 49k ethereum still holding strong at two point six thousand dollars, so that's great to see for Ethereum. And Ethereum is not actually dropping; it's actually still up three point six percent. But you guys can clearly see for the past seven days, right? Bitcoin is up over ten, you know, ten percent. Same with Ethereum, and many more other altcoins are in fact still up, right? Even though yes, for the past twenty four hours, a lot of altcoins are in fact dropping, right? Chainlink, you know, over two percent. You know, a fair few altcoins are down, you know, one percent for the past twenty four hours. Right, you guys can just clearly see that. So we are in fact seeing some slight, you know, corrections back down to the downside. But overall, the market is still, you know, holding strong. Right, the crypto market overall is still holding strong, guys. You guys can clearly see the global crypto market cap is still sitting above 1.8 trillion. Right now, it's currently at 1.83 trillion. So everything is still holding very, very strong. Okay, and the reason why, guys, of course, Bitcoin is in fact dropping right now is because, it's, you know, I'm guessing people are in fact taking their profits someone out there is selling okay potentially someone out there is potentially selling you know and taking their profits right so someone out there is obviously selling bitcoin who knows who it is it could be whales or someone else who exactly really knows but yes guys um bitcoin is still holding strong in my opinion right it's just below 49k okay but understand right i really do see bitcoin reaching back up to 50k and over 50k very very soon okay but this is what i really wanted to show you guys for today's video okay the thing read index let's talk about this real quick because this is the first time for the first time in a very very long time and you guys can clearly see this is pretty much history right now okay but you guys can clearly see the thing read index right now for bitcoin is currently at extreme greed okay and sitting at 79 we have not seen the thing read index for Bitcoin in extreme greed for a very, very long time. I think the, the last time we have seen the thing greed index, okay, at extreme greed, okay, sitting at, you know, 79, close to 80 was in its previous bull market, right, back in 2021, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I am pretty sure this was, in fact, our last time we have seen the thing greed index in extreme greed mode. So it seems like a lot of people out there, okay, investors out there, okay, aren't fact feeling that greed okay that they are feeling extremely greedy right now guys okay you guys can clearly see okay you know yesterday last week even last month we were in fact in greed mode but today for the first time ever in a very very long time coming up to almost two years okay it's now in extreme greed sitting at 79 and correct me if i'm wrong guys but i remember looking at the thing greed index back in you know 2021 when bitcoin was in fact at its you know all time highs you know over 60k whether it was at you know 65k or even at its you know 69k at its previous all time highs i remember seeing the thing greed index sitting sitting at like around over 80 like 83 84 85 somewhere around there right and right now sitting at 79 and right now bitcoin is still 
okay? It's like almost back up to its previous highs, but not quite there just yet, right? So that that tells you something, okay? Obviously, the bull market, okay? The bull market is coming, guys. A bull run is, in fact, about to happen. This is obviously the early stage of a bull run, guys, okay? The Bitcoin halving event. I know I talk about this a lot, but the Bitcoin halving event is obviously right around the corner. Very, very you know, very bullish times ahead for Bitcoin and crypto overall when an alt season is also right around the corner. So get ready for that, you guys, okay? This is, you know, this is very, very bullish right now. Okay, we all should be feeling very, very bullish, of course, right? Very bullish. So this is amazing to me, right? Extreme greed. It's been a while since we have seen the Fring Greed Index in extreme greed mode, sitting at 79. So this is amazing in my opinion, right? So that's that. But yeah, Real quick, guys, BlackRock and Fidelity, okay, they are in fact buying. They're still buying Bitcoin, okay, and combined, they have, they now own, you know, over over 170,000 Bitcoins, okay, 171,705 Bitcoins worth $8.3 billion. $8.3 billion. That is absolutely crazy, guys, for the, you know, spot Bitcoin ETFs. So you understand, guys, a lot of these institutions, especially BlackRock, are in fact you know, accumulating and buying a lot of Bitcoin. They want to take your Bitcoins, guys. So don't sell your Bitcoins. Keep accumulating. Be like them. Be like these, you know, big institutions out there that, you know, every single day they're on track buying. Okay, look at Michael Saylor, right? Michael Strategy. They are continuing to buy. They are not stopping, guys. Okay, continue to DCA, guys. Okay, continue, please, right? Yes, the bull one is coming. So be prepared for that, guys. Okay, we are still in the accumulation phase right I understand that so yes guys bitcoin did in fact reach you know fifty thousand dollars okay even you know bitcoin reached 50k before the halving right as a you know as expected right the bitcoin halving okay it's almost there we're obviously you know right around the corner it's going to happen around april and we've already seen bitcoin at 50k so obviously bitcoin just looking at this chart right now for bitcoin bitcoin is obviously about to reach back up to its previous all-time highs. We are now officially more than halfway, okay, more than halfway for us to see Bitcoin reach back up to its previous all-time highs. And guess what? A lot of people were in fact feeling doubtful for Bitcoin, saying, you know, we're never going to see Bitcoin reach back up to its previous highs. But if you obviously just look at the chart for Bitcoin, it's clearly forming an uptrend, right, ever since early of last year in 2023 right to where we are now bitcoin has been clearly forming a uptrend slowly going up right gaining back its momentum right so this is obviously a very bullish sign for the next upcoming bull run guys so get ready for that right but yes bitcoin is obviously dropping okay just below forty nine thousand dollars as i showed you guys but um also it says here by stock money lizards okay bitcoin hit 50k and once more a perfect example why you shouldn't firm and buy on these days okay but you guys understand there's nothing wrong with buying bitcoin you know whether you buy it at you know 50k when it pumped to 50k and right now bitcoin's dropping to 48k because you guys understand you should be investing into bitcoin for long term right do this for long term guys don't do this for short term i know a lot of people out there okay they like to trade with bitcoin okay but person guys what i do i'm just more of a investor i'm not much of a trader right sometimes i do trade and take my profits but i don't do it with bitcoin or ethereum right i do it with like small cap altcoins that's just personally my opinion right sometimes yes i do in fact you know trade with ethereum but not much right um so personally guys okay with bitcoin do it for long term buy bitcoin and hodl hold on for dear life guys right do this for your future self we know where bitcoin is heading in the future we know one Bitcoin is going to be worth a million dollars and, of course, millions of dollars. Of course, I'm talking long term here, right? I'm not talking short term. So in the next like decade, yeah, we're going to see Bitcoin potentially at hundreds and thousands of dollars per coin, even at a million or over a million. It's going to happen, right? So understand where Bitcoin is heading long term, guys, right? So yes, Bitcoin, guys, is dropping, but we should all be, you know, continuing to DCA especially right now, since it is in fact dropping back down to $48,000. So right now it's still a great time to buy. Like I said, there's not, like, there's not a huge difference buying Bitcoin at 50K to 48K to 46K. So just DCA guys, don't time the market, right? Timing the market can really, you know, screw with your emotions, right? So not financial advice, always do your own research guys, right? But that's that. 
okay? But yeah, real quick, I just want to show you guys this, okay? Because potentially, right, we could potentially see Bitcoin drop further down to the downside. So, Carl from the moon, we all know who this person is. He's a great um, other crypto influencer and YouTuber, right? Uh, we all know who he is, okay? Carl from the moon. So, he tweeted this out. Okay, just a couple of hours ago. Okay, so he says here he just opened a $450,000 Bitcoin short position on Bitflex. Let me repeat that $450,000 um, short position, okay, on Bitcoin. Meaning, okay, he's predicting here, okay, that we will potentially see Bitcoin drop furthermore down to the downside, right? We will see. Okay, because yes, Bitcoin is in fact dropping. So we will see guys, okay, I'm not much of a trader or tech, you know, uh, chart analysis and whatnot, right? Whatever you call it. But for him, he's putting a trade, right? A $450,000 um, short position for Bitcoin, meaning he's predicting that Bitcoin's going to, you know, drop further down to the downside, maybe back down to 47 to 46 to be even 45, maybe even lower, who knows, right? Who, who really knows? But he is, in fact, putting a short position. So we'll see how it will turn out, right? So that's that, okay? We will see if Bitcoin's going to drop further down to the downside. But yeah, guys, real quick, before I end off uh, tonight's video, okay? Bitcoin is ready, okay? And it just shows you guys, every single time we have the Bitcoin halving, okay? The Bitcoin halving, this is where Bitcoin tends to pump the most. And this is when a bull run begins for Bitcoin. Every single time, guys, y'all can clearly see that in previous years, back in 2017 to 2021, to where we are now, okay? 2025 is obviously going to be an amazing year for, you know, Bitcoin and crypto overall. So get ready, right? Bitcoin is ready to reach a previous all-time highs, okay? It's ready to reach back up to its previous highs and reach a new all-time high, of course. And then, yes, it's going to have a drop. And then, okay, in the next, you know, few years, you know, 2028 to 2029 to 2030, right, it's going to rise back up again, right? This happens pretty much every four years, guys. I told you, I talk about the four-year cycle a lot, right? We pretty much have three good years and one bad year. And of course, we have the Bitcoin halving, right? A Bitcoin halving event always happens pretty much every four years, right? And every single time we have that event, Bitcoin always reaches a new all-time high. So get ready, guys. Bitcoin is clearly going to reach back up to its previous highs and reach a new all-time high very, very shortly. So get ready for that because I really do see a 70K Bitcoin coming very, very soon, the next couple of months. Mark my words on that, right? So that's that, guys. But guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. That is always appreciated. And I catch you guys all in my next video. Have a good one, guys.